Look what I couldn't resist on picking up for myself. This is uh, too ridiculous. It is the Lego uh, 007 Aston Martin, uh, the creator. You have to be over 16, so I was barely old enough. I had to show them my ID in order to pick this up. Uh, and it's the James Bond 007 Aston Martin DB5, which is just phenomenal. This is the car that I have loved ever since I first discovered the James Bond movies when I was a little kid uh, in the, the 90s. Um, no, I, way, way back in the day, I used to go to the movies and, and uh, the, actually the Hollywood Theater here in Vancouver, uh, BC, Canada, used to play um, double features, um, and pay two bucks or something like that. And I was just in love with the mythology of James Bond and, and this, uh, the heroics of this guy. And uh, Roger Moore was my first one. I saw The Spy Lover. That was my very first James Bond. By the time I saw Goldfinger and I saw Sean Connery just being so kick-ass, when he, when he takes the rubber uh, wetsuit off and he's got the tuxedo underneath at the beginning of that film, I, it was just amazing. He was just so damn cool. And this is the car that really made him cool. I actually have the Corgi um, Aston Martin DB5 from the 60s. I went and I was a collect. I've always been a toy nerd. So I went and collected that and picked that up. It's in my collection somewhere. I don't have it on display. I don't have the room for it. But when I saw that Lego pick this up, because you guys know I've been bugging TT Games and uh, Warner Brothers for a while now to figure out whether they're going to come out with a, uh, uh, you know, a Lego James Bond video game. This suggests that maybe they will fingers crossed, but Lego and James Bond just go together. You can just think of all the play sets and all the cool things. And yes, Lego's engineered for kids, but come on. When I was at the Lego store buying this, there was nothing but dads and their kids coming in together, you know, and some moms too, of course, but uh, it's really sort of transcended. And when you start to get into properties like this, you can, you know, absolutely bring in the whole family. The movies are not for children, for sure. And the character and the books, not, none of the mythology is meant for kids. Uh, but, you know, we grow up with Lego and we can appreciate it. So anyways, I spent the weekend, uh, actually I did it all in one day, which I wouldn't suggest. Um, it was a uh, tremendous amount of work. My daughter Ruby was actually there and she helped me uh, um, put some of this stuff together. Eventually she got bored and wanted to play uh, games on my iPhone and stuff, but uh, she had a really good time and we, we uh, put this together. We went, you know, through the instruction books, which is, uh, you know, kind of laid out like an MI6 briefing and it gives you a little detail on not just the history of the car, but all of the different things that it can do. And um, we had a good time. I had a great time the whole time. Time. My daughter ceased to have a good time and wanted to take a break because it's pretty intricate and pretty um, uh, ornate. And uh, of course, I was like, don't drop anything, don't drop anything. Um, and uh, we did really well. We did it all in a day. I was up really late in the evening. If you guys were on my Instagram, I don't mean to be plugging my Instagram all the time, but I took a picture of it uh, in its completed form uh, when I was finally ready to uh, go to bed. And it was like one o'clock in the morning or something like that. And uh, I was exhausted and burnt out and I was starting to get Lego blindness from all the, um, the different pieces that I had to find and put together. Uh, but I'll tell you what, I'm gonna show you what this thing can do right now, which is really cool. Um, so I'll show you from the back of the box right here. Um, I don't know if we can see that quite well. Do you want to try the other cam, Blake, and see if that makes a difference right there? Not really. Well, anyways, the, uh, the, the car can do all kinds of incredible things. It's, uh, it's amazing that it, it does all of these intricate animations and, and uh, has all these features. And you, you're not even aware that it can do that until you put it all together. The back of the box is too small for you to see from there. So let me show you in real life. The, um, the car has rotating um, uh, license plates. So you can, I, I like it on the, the James Bond one, so you can spin the, the, uh, the license plates to whatever you want, but the, there's actually a JB007 right there. The hood pops open, and there's an intricate uh, um, engine in the top of the car, which is amazing. Um, lots of silver and chrome work against the gray, the sort of matte gray of the car, which is great. Um, the hood pops up in the back, or the boot, or whatever this is called in the back here, so you can put your champagne bottles and what have you in the back. Uh, again, the, uh, the uh, license plates rotate in the back. If you spin this little uh, exhaust pipe, you get a bulletproof shield that pops up, which is so slick. Blake's gonna zoom in a little bit more for us right here. And uh, the PS de resistance, oh, there's machine guns in the front, and that's the only thing that I haven't been able to kind of work, but the doors open 
and you can uh, you toggle. There's a little gear shifter thing, and you can toggle that. Put, put it down. There's a little gear shifter thing that you can toggle, and the machine guns are supposed to flip open. They don't exactly, and it's because it's Lego, and so you know maybe one of the bricks isn't tight enough, and it's sort of catching, which drives me crazy. But I I was trying to fix it, and I broke it at one o'clock in the morning the other night, and I, I spent like an, an hour trying to like re put it together again. Anybody that's put complicated Lego knows what I went through. But the best thing about this thing is this very cool feature. You guys all know what's on here. It's the ejector seat. I'm going to try to do this cleanly. Ready? Oh, wait a sec. There we go. Ready? Oh, come on. There it is. <laughs> the ejector seat actually pops out, and it's incredible. Hold on. I'm going to just walk downstairs and grab that. And then, so I'm back, and basically it's a little tiny chair, and it actually looks just like the other chair, which I'm really shocked because the Corgi model didn't actually look as cool. You could tell which one, which chair was going to pop out. It was just so obvious, but on this one, you can't. It's just dope as hell. There's like actually also um, uh, retractable uh, mm -hmm. tire shredders that come out of the car. You have to stick them on, but then you can drive around and... It's just really cool. So I've been making vroom vroom sounds like crazy. This is not inexpensive, but it's honestly one of the coolest Lego sets I've ever purchased. And I had a, a tremendous time putting it together and now it will never come apart. And now it's on display forever. So thank you Lego for making this. Now TT Games and Warner Brothers, please make us a Lego James Bond video game, okay? We'll wait.